Hi, it's Erin of Honey Bar Media, and I teach real estate agents how to attract leads, sales, and referrals online. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a content calendar. I'm also gonna show you seven simple steps that you can use to master social media marketing for real estate. And make sure you stay to the very end so you can get a copy of the exact content calendar that I used for all of my top producing clients. Tip number one take photos everywhere so that you always have content ready to go and this could be anything like beautiful homes amazing restaurants cute little shops stunning hikes pictures with community influencers around your office even fun times with your team and with your family and speaking of which if you have a team you can instantly double your content by encouraging all of your team members to take and send you photos as well tip number two Filter your photos so that they're beautiful and on brand. Social media is often the first encounter that a local resident will have with your business, so make sure to put your best foot forward. Make sure that your photos are stunning and that they also match your brand. My favorite editing apps are Canva and PicMonkey. Tip number three. Use a content calendar to stay organized and on track. A content calendar is a place where you schedule out all of your social media content for the week. It also ensures that all of your social media gets posted consistently, even when you get busy. So a content calendar for a real estate agent would look something like this. So you'll have a content calendar. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I left Sunday off because maybe you want to take that time with your family. but. Basically, you have six days out of the week. You can swap Saturday for Sunday if you want to or any of the other days. So let's do a sample content calendar together. So on Mondays, you can feature a local hotspot. So maybe it's a new restaurant that's in town that just opened up or a new shop that people are raving about. Anything that's local and that's hot. Real estate tips on Tuesday. This should be perfect for you. Just make a quick list of all of the most common questions that you get, and then just go ahead and answer those questions on Tuesday. Community spotlight. Community spotlight can be anything that's community related. It can be something that's happening, like construction going up. It can be a dog that needs a new home that's in the pound, for instance. It could be anything. Someone who did a great job on a local sports team for the kids. Anything that you want, as long as it's a community person, a person in the community, and it's lights the community personal post on Thursday a lot of people are hesitant to post personal things but you have to post personal things it really humanizes your brand and makes you real to people and so people want to see that personal post so make sure that you include that on Friday you could do a list of upcoming events that's perfect for Friday and then promote your business all you want on Saturday so on Saturday you can do your listings and open house you can do a featured uh, a beautiful feature of one of the listings that you have for instance Friday is Saturday is a day where you can actually promote your business as much as you want tip number four write an interesting description that grabs and keeps attention here's the formula who what where when why and then this is the most important one question so you always want to end with a question so in this video you can see exactly what this looks like in action who what where when why and of course at the very end i included a question tip number five include a call to action at the end of every single post to get leads and let me give you a couple of examples to show you what I mean. So never miss a thing in NYC, click here to get fun local events delivered to your inbox weekly. Or for reviews on more local hotspots, visit our blog. Or for an instant home evaluation, click here. Or the tried and true, thinking of buying or selling your home this year, call or text us anytime. Tip number six, pick your platforms and forget the rest. So the best social media platforms for real estate agents are Facebook pages, Facebook ads, local Facebook groups, Instagram, and your Facebook profile. So you can actually just forget the rest of the social media platforms until you've mastered these ones. Don't even worry about the other platforms, okay? So that should be a huge weight off your shoulders right then and there. So these are the ones you need to focus on. Leave the rest for after you master these ones listed on this page. Side note, it is against Facebook's terms of service to use your personal profile for commercial gain though. So it's always best to post all of your business promotions on your page, not your profile. So be very, very careful about what you post on your profile because Facebook has every right to shut your whole account down if you're promoting your business too much on your personal profile. So save all of that for your Facebook page. Tip number seven, 
schedule your posts. I cannot stress this one enough. So ideally you want to do it one week in advance. And if you're using the content calendar, that should be super, super simple for you. For Facebook scheduling, I actually use the native scheduler inside of Facebook. And for Instagram scheduling, I use a program called Later. As promised, I have a special bonus for you in the online marketing library of my signature program, Lead Strategy Academy. Just click the link below and I'll send you a copy of the exact content calendar that I use as a social media manager for all of my top producing agents. If you liked this video, hit the like button below. Bonus points if you share it with your friends.